Hi, I'm Christine Charbonnier. I'm a makeup artist and today we are going to focus on more mature skin. First, I cleansed my skin already with Bioderma and a cotton pad. Now I'm going to apply a hyaluronic acid. I feel like no matter what age or stage you are in your skincare journey, a hyaluronic serum is a must. It's the Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. This is a smaller molecule hyaluronic, so it's really gonna absorb into the skin. Anything that is soothing and cooling and de-puffing as well in the morning, I'm into. I'm gonna use an eye mask by Nesco. These are a miracle. Not only do these feel amazing, but they also just look really cool. So this one is my favorite for under eyes. This is the Diamond Radiance Mask. It is to brighten, hydrate, and energize. I always put a lip balm on in the morning while I let my eye patches cook. Um, I'm really into the Laneige Lip Mask. This is one of my favorite lip products. It looks like this, it tastes delicious, and it is super, super thick and hydrating. All right, now that these have cooked, I'm gonna take them off and I take what's left over of the skincare and I just rub it all around the eye and around my orbital bone. It's just so hydrating and so soothing and cooling to my under eyes. If you wanna double up and add an eye cream, I'm using the Dr. Barbara Sturm eye cream. You can just rub this around. This one's very sheer. It's like a very light cream or a gel, which I love under the eye. Now that my eyes are de-puffed, I'm gonna use a cream. I love the Walita Awakening Night Cream in the morning because it doesn't peel under makeup. It mixes really well with my hyaluronic acid. I feel like it adds a little protective layer to my skin. It feels really smooth. I feel like with skin, less is more for more mature skin. I'm gonna use today an SPF that is tinted. So I'm going to mix the tinted sunscreen with a very blendable concealer to create a full coverage makeup. This one is the Sun Better Mineral Sunscreen. This is SPF 75. So I'm just gonna take a little synthetic foundation brush and apply the sunscreen just like I would a foundation. This one has such a beautiful smell to it. It almost smells like cinnamon. It adds such a beautiful glow and radiance to the skin. Now that I have my evened skin and my SPF on, which is such a plus to do both at the same time, I do need a little bit of extra coverage where I have more spots and sun damage. I love this concealer by Glossier. This is the Stretch Concealer. This is number G9. It has a really beautiful texture to it. It's very easy to move around the skin. So. I'm basically just gonna apply it where I need to cover the most redness. So around my nose, usually. Up on my forehead where I get some spots. It blends really easy. It provides really beautiful coverage. Now that I'm really shiny, I am gonna use a powder to set my makeup. I actually really love the Fit Me Powder by Maybelline. This one is just a really beautiful powder to sort of set makeup. It also really evens out the skin without sitting in fine lines and causing more texture. So I basically just take the same brush, I just pat my brush into the powder and just press it into my skin in my T-zone. All right, now that my skin is even, I can go to brows and eyes. I'm gonna use the Lancome Brow Define Pencil in soft black number 13. After I do my brows, I'm gonna do my eyes. I like to use the Claire Light Taupe Color in the Blurry Mauve Palette by Chanel. This is one of my favorite palettes. I just take one of these blending brushes, I take the taupey color, and I just pop it right on my lid and through my crease. If you like a little bit more color on the eyes, I would highly recommend the Ombre Premier. These are a creamy eyeshadow that have a really beautiful radiance to them and they're very easy to apply. So I'll just take this on my eye and just pop it all over my lid. And this adds just a little bit of shimmer, but it's not powdery. So it's not gonna accentuate any texture that you might have in the lid. You can easily apply it through the crease and the lid with your finger. If you wanna buff it out a little more, just take your blending brush from before and then just go back and forth like a windshield wiper in that crease to sort of buff it out. Look how pretty this color is. 
After I do my eyeshadow, I use my highlighter. I take the highlighter and I love to just pop it on my brow bone. I even sort of go down onto my lid to kind of blend with the shadow that I've already used. I love to use creams on more mature skin. I feel like I steer away from powder eyeshadow, powder blush, powder contour. Everything is going to be creamy and easy to apply. So it's not gonna accentuate any fine lines and wrinkles or cause texture on the skin. All right, if you want to add some dimension under the eye, after I do mascara, I will take the taupey color, the Claire Light from my Chanel Blurry Mauve palette. I like to take a flat eyeshadow brush like this and a little bit of that Claire Light. And I just take it and just kind of dust it along my bottom lash line. This will make my eye look bigger. I usually do not do a pencil or anything creamy under there because I feel like it will sort of move down below the eye throughout the day. You can then also go with the highlight and put something on the inner corner of the eye to really brighten the inside of the eye. And then swoop it underneath the entire eye. If you want like extra coverage to get rid of this puffiness and this shadow here. I have a product that I am obsessed with. This is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Um, this is like a magic eraser for your face. I love this one because it really just will cover any dark circles or puffiness. You can also spot conceal um, any spots on the skin like sun damage or redness around the nose. So I like to take a blending brush and you can just pop it under the eye. Just really focus on covering that shadow under the eyes. This is like a miracle under eye concealer. All right, so now that I'm totally even, I feel like I do need to add some more color back in my skin. I love the um, Shade and Illuminate by Tom Ford. This is a product that I have been in love with for many years. This is number 05, this is the lightest one. I like to use a stiff synthetic brush. It just has the perfect angle and width. And I just take this one and pop it underneath my cheekbone. And just kind of buff it in as blush as well. I go up around my forehead where I would get sun naturally. I'm also gonna take the highlighter from the compact and pop it up on my cheekbone. All right, lastly, lips. I like a fuller lip. I feel like it looks more youthful. So I use a lip liner. I'm going to use one of my favorite lip pencils. This is the Nude Beige by NYX. I can go down below my lip to really accentuate my lip shape. I can go on top of my lip and it just adds like a really beautiful shadow. I will pop a lip color on top. I'm gonna use number 63 Ultimate. It's the Rouge Allure by Chanel. I love these little lipsticks. They are new, they are lacquers, they're like stains. They're really easy to apply. I love this nude color. It's just so easy to throw on and it makes my lips look a lot bigger, but it looks like a natural lip color on me. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video for more mature skin. I feel like it really depends on what you are trying to achieve with your skin and makeup. I like to do more of a full coverage, but I want it to look very natural. I also want to protect my skin from the sun. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you again soon.